Uh, looking at the problem y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 16, this problem is in standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square and convert it to vertex form. But before we even get there, we can identify what the y-intercept of this problem is, which is 0c. And we can find that because a is 2, the number in front of the x squared term, b is 8, and c is 16. So our y-intercept is 0, 16. Now, it's not that you can't use the calculator to help you find that value, but I just want to make you aware that we didn't really need the calculator when we're working in standard form. But what we're really focusing on today is how do we complete the square when there's a number in front of the x squared term. And our steps on page 7 tell us to start with moving the 16 over to the other side. So when we move the 16 over, it's a personal preference. I'm going to write negative 16 plus y. There is nothing wrong with you writing y minus 16. So it's personal preference. Negative 16 plus y equals 2x squared plus, plus 8x. Now normally, I add in a box at this point, but we cannot complete the square until we deal with that 2 in front of the x squared term. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 2 and we're going to factor it out. So this is going to become 2 out in front. And then when we factor that value out, 2 divided by 2 is 1 x squared. 8 divided by 2 is 4 So we've got negative 16 plus y over here on the left. We factored out the 2. And now, let's put the box in. If we put the box in here on the right side, we need a box in over here on the left side. And my space is a little bit tight here. And it's not just going to be the box. Because what this means on the right side is, this means 2 times x squared. And this means 2 times 4x. So it's going to mean 2 times box. So not only do we have to add the box on the left side of the equals, we also need to put a 2 out here. And it's going to be 2 times, which is squeezed in there, so it's a little bit hard to see. 2 times whatever goes in that box. Now that we have that set up, everything else is the same. So what's going to happen is we need to figure out, well, what value goes in that box. So we look at the number in front of the box, 4, and we divide by 2, and square it. And if we do that to the right side here, the same thing's going to go on the left side box. 4 divided by 2, square it. And we can simplify that a little bit. We still have our 2 out in front on both sides. But in this box here, when we simplify, 4 divided by 2 is 2 squared minus 16 plus y. And over here, we have x squared plus 4x. And we've simplified this box to be 2 squared. And now we're to the factor part. And what we've done is we've created a perfect square trinomial. And what that means for us is that means that when we write down our parentheses, we're going to have the same values right there. Same values in each of those parentheses. 
And the way we can come up with this is that x squared is x times x. And 2 squared is 2 times 2. And that 2 in the box is positive, so these are both positive. And then we still have our 2 on the other side along with all of our other stuff. But now we can condense over here on the right side. And by the way, before I forget, this 4x is hidden in our two parentheses. Common question, that 4x is hidden within those two parentheses. So we can, again, condense. So this is going to be 2. And then we have x plus 2 squared. And on the other side, we can simplify it a little bit. We still have that orange 2, but now we can deal with 2 squared. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 16 plus 1. And maybe you type it into your calculator. Um, I'm going to show a little bit more work, but still simplifying over here on the left side. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 16 plus y, equals 2 times x plus 2 squared. Eight minus 16 is negative 8 plus y equals 2 times x plus 2 squared. And again, we're at the point where we're solving for y. We're going to get an equation, not a numerical answer. But all that we need to do to finish is we need to add 8 to both sides. So here comes the vertex form. y equals 2 times x plus 2 squared plus 8. But I also want to point out something with regards to your calculator. And that is we can check our answer and know that we have done the problem correctly with our calculator. So if we pull up the calculator and we start by going to y equals here. And we're going to type in the original equation. The original equation was 2x squared plus 8x plus 16, putting that in y1. And then we can use our down arrow, and that gets us to y2. And we're going to type in our answer that we just came up with, 2 parentheses x plus 2 squared plus 8. And it depends on the calculator. My personal calculator is very slow with graphing. This one on the smart board is very fast. So when you see it, you're going to see blue, and then you're going to see red, and hopefully it lands right on top. So if I hit graph, blue, red. And I usually don't graph it when I'm working on my own. I use the table feature, which is second and the graph button. And nice that my calculator on screen is color coded. Because the Y1 column, which happens to be blue, and the Y2 column, which happens to be red, they match. And the fact that these numbers match tells us that we have done our work correctly. Now we can go ahead and finish filling out the box. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to type in our y equals 2 times x plus 2 quantity squared and then I think it's plus 8. 
And lastly, what we want to do to finish this is we want to identify the turning point. And if you look at inside the parentheses, there's a positive. So this is going to be negative 2. And then the 8 here is going to remain the same. So what's inside the parentheses? We change the sign. What's outside the parentheses? We leave it alone. Negative 2, 8 is our vertex, our turning point. And again, does that make sense? If you look at the picture again, negative 2, 8, does that seem correct based on the picture? Again, another quick checking place, and it does look like negative 2, 8 is our turning point, also known as our vertex.